the centrality and strategic place of quality communication services to the social economic development of nations is a well-established indicator which cannot be overemphasized. It is quite apt that the federal government of Nigeria is mindful of building the essential planks of such communications platforms to the benefit of the people with critical considerations for safety, security, and well-being of citizens. Nigerian Communications Commission NCC, conscious of the importance of this, has been stridently pursuing practical steps towards ensuring that Nigeria attains desired levels in terms of provision of adequate telecommunication services, one that effectively serves the needs of the people. Nigerian Communications Commission NCC, is the main driver of the various initiatives under Prof. Umar Garba Dambata as EVC is the Emergency Communication Centers, ECC. Well, the, the ECC is an acronym and it stands for Emergency Communications Center. Um, consistent with global best practice, every country has an emergency number. I'm sure the famous ones are the 9-11s, okay? 911, those who watch films will recall, especially films that are normally shot in the US, they will hear call 911, especially in the event of an emergency. Okay, so different countries have their own emergency communications number. The one for Nigeria is 112. It is deliberately chosen so that people will easily remember you know, when there is an emergency, you don't want complex digits, you know, because uh, an emergency is what it is. Since the Federal Executive Council gave NCC the nod to push for the establishment of one model emergency communication center in each of the states in the Federation and the FCT, the NCC has pursued this task with a singularity of purpose. One of such numerous epoch initiatives driven to completion by NCC under Prof. Umar Garba Dambata as EVC is the Emergency Communication Centers, ECC. When I assumed duty in August 2015, that will be like about eight years ago, there were only five such centers in the country. Okay? And the nature of services, you know, that these five were rendering, you know, the services were epileptic, okay? They were, they were not well equipped. Um, the call responders were fully trained, and the responders too, okay? There was no, there was no uh, element of that seriousness that is supposed to be, you know, attached to issues of emergency. I think part of the reason is because we were so few. And Nigerians were not even aware about the existence you know, of the few. To date, as we speak now, we have closed to 35 emergency communication centers. The NCC is the National Independent Telecommunication Regulatory Body with the mandate to regulate the telecommunication sector in Nigeria. In line with the Commission's statutory functions, as articulated in Section 107.3 A and B of the Nigerian Communications Act 2003, to ensure universal safety and emergency assistance by prompt deployment of seamless, ubiquitous and reliable end-to-end -end infrastructure for emergency communication needs of the country. This gave rise to the establishment of the Emergency Communication Centers ECC project, one amongst various well-thought-out initiatives and groundbreaking projects. I think it is uh, a thing of pride that these centers are virtually in every state of the Federation, including the, cap uh, the Federal Capital Territory. And all these centers are fully functional. 
um, a testimony to this was during the COVID-19 pandemic. People used the one one to, to lodge complaints, you know, about the pandemic. We were able to create, you know, an additional platform in addition to, you know, what existed then, you know, net, you know initially calls are made to agencies, emergency agencies, you know, like hospitals, ambulance services, fire, you know, services, okay, the police, the military, okay. Um, and, you know, these are about five or six of them, but that provision was made in order to accommodate additional emergency agencies. I think the Center for Disease Control became an addition, you know, during the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, the number 112 now has become a household name. People are conversant with it. And the reason for this is the massive sensitization we have undertaken to educate Nigerians about the existence of the emergency communication centers in their midst, as well as how they can be able to assess services provided by these centers. And uh, we have witnessed instances where Nigerians acknowledged the contribution of the centers, especially when there was fire outbreaks. You know, the response from the fire services, you know, was, you know, was very, very prompt. And Nigerians, you know, were able to attest to this through the social media, you know, platforms. Okay, so it, it, it is a very long journey, um, a journey that has seen the number of, you know, emergency communication centers, you know, it's, it's not a question of doubling or tripling. You know, they have increased about 30 fold from, well, maybe eight, 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 about eight times, from five to about 34, as we are speaking now. So um, I think it is to the pride of this government, present government, you know, um, the immediate past government, and I believe even the new government will continue, you know, and ensure that the emergency communication centers play that important role of providing soccer and relief to Nigerians, you know, in need of an emergency. Whether this emergency is uh, related to healthcare, whether it is uh, an emergency requiring the prompt attention of the fire services department, the police, the military, and so on and so forth. In fact, the centers have become an important part of our daily lives, and they are here to stay. The Commission undertook the implementation of the mandate on the Emergency Communication Center's ECC project with the construction and operationalization across Nigeria. Presently, there are ECC structures in 34 states. The Commission's efforts charts an innovative security network system for Nigeria that enables timely response to calls during emergencies and distress which was triggered by the concern over the prevailing lapses observed whereby various organizations charged with the statutory responsibility of providing response to security and safety issues establish stand-alone emergency call systems using differentiated numbering schemes. The multiplicity of emergency numbers by response agencies confuses the public, resulting in attendant loss of lives and properties a situation that is avoidable. Therefore, the ECC evolved as a strategic move to reverse and correct the anomaly. The services provided by the mobile network operators are digital services. The, the, the hardware is digital. The software is also digital. And as such, there is need to ensure um, compatibility okay, with the centers, compatibility of the kind of services the centers provide with the services the mobile network operators are providing so that there is a seamless integration 
because the emergency communication centers rely on the mobile network operators, you know, infrastructure, which is digital. And as such, there was need to phase out the analog equipment. You know, the, the software has to be upgraded. Uh, the hardware has to be phased out. And in this place, you know, we decided to deploy digital, you know, hardware, you know, so that, like I said, there is a seamless um, handshake between the centers, you know, and the mobile network operators infrastructure, you know, on whose platform, you know, the, the, the centers are hosted. And I think as we speak today, we have even gone a step further, okay? Um, ensuring this compatibility is one important step we have taken so, there is, so that there is a successful handshake between the centers and the mobile network operators, you know, infrastructure. But we have added futures, you know, to the operations of the emergency communication centers that uh, have added value now uh, you can be able to send, you know, complaints, you know, using Twitter, you know, through SMS, you know, and, uh, you know, multimedia uh, options before you just call. But this, um, this has been expanded to include the three uh, options that I've just mentioned. We also have an additional very important future, the caller identification location so that when there is a call being made by any Nigerian, you know, to register a complaint, an emergency complaint for which prompt attention is required, we can easily establish the location of the caller. And this makes it easy for the emergency service design, you need to be provided promptly. Because, you know, with certainty we can say, this is where the caller is you know, making his call from or her call from and therefore direct the response, you know, agencies, you know, to the exact location, thereby enhancing the speed of provision of the emergency service. I think there are other futures, um, uh, but generally the mi migration to internet uh, protocol, you know, platform has, of course, totally changed the nature in where, you know, services are provided by, you know, the emergency communication centers as we speak. You know, I've just mentioned one, uh, caller identif identification location, options through which Nigerians can be able to lodge their complaints. There are other important features. Okay, we have geolocation um, functions now incorporated. And I'm sure very soon we can be able to even identify the locations of the agencies, you know, providing, you know, the, 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 the emergency service, you know, in order to ensure further efficiency, you know, of the centers. The Emergency Communication Center project, ECC, um, is a product of leadership vision. The Nigerian Communications Commission established these centers over the years to serve the needs of Nigerian citizens in emergency and we have seen huge impacts, particularly since the uh, leadership of uh, Margaret Badambata, the Executive Vice Chairman uh, EVC of the NCC, we have seen an uptick in the number of citizens who rely on these centers for emergency response purposes. The ECC initiative is embedded in the Commission's commitment to delivering on the goal of promoting and enhancing public safety as captured in its enabling law with the functions that include but are not limited to a universal toll-free emergency telephone short code 112 for members of the public in Nigeria to seek for help in times of distress and emergencies, a one-stop shop for receiving distress calls from the public and dispatching same to appropriate response agencies, first responders who will respond to the needs of the callers. An easy, effective and coordinated access by members of the public to response agencies such as police, FRSC, NSCDC, fire service, 
ambulance service, etc. in times of emergencies and distress. This translates to resultant efficiency of the response agencies in handling distress calls, hence more economic activities and boom for the society and the nation at large. The Emergency Communication Center was designed to provide a one-stop shop for receiving and answering distress and emergency 112 calls from the public and dispatching same to appropriate response agencies known as first responders who will respond to the needs of the callers. We receive emergency calls and dispatch them to the appropriate quarter. We have very well trained agents who receive these calls and they work in shifts. We work 247 round the clock. So whenever the, any emergency comes up, there's someone there to receive these emergencies. And these agents are very well trained, especially in customer service, so that they could be able to dispatch their duties up accordingly. The technology here too, we use, if you look at my system here, you see what we use to, the, to receive these calls. As soon as the agents receive them, you see the agents that have received, you see their IDs, you see the calls they receive and the information that needs to be dispatched. Some of our key stakeholders that uh, we have identified that will collaborate and uh, engage to ensure, to ensure sustainability and uh, efficiency of the services at the Emergency Communication Center are the state government that provides the land for the construction of the Emergency Communication Center. Secondly is the mobile network operator that uh, deliver 112 uh, emergency calls to the center. Thirdly is the MDAs responsible for the emergencies in the, in the country. This include uh, the Nigerian Police, the Federal Road Safety, the Fire Service, uh, the Nigerian Civil Defense uh, Corps, and uh, other response agencies. The Emergency Communication Center has been wonderful to us, the responders, because it has uh, reduced our response time and it has also increased awareness to the general public to know what number to call and at no extra call to the distressed caller. Uh, initially, uh, when there is fire, you can, we normally have a, a running call. Uh, somebody can use a motorbike or a, a, a vehicle to run to the next station to inform the firefighters to, for, for, for a response. And uh, now it is a history. It is worthy of note that during the total lockdown occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, the ECCs played a remarkable role by providing a platform for members of the public to seek life-saving information or support and reporting COVID-19 related cases by dialing 112 from any of the networks. In addition to what the NCDC put in place, ECC was a bulwark in terms of how we have the channel of communication that Nigerians can use to uh, communicate incidents of uh, COVID-19. And during that period, we recorded on average about 1,500 calls on the emergency communication centers. The trend that we see indicates a growing awareness of the importance of these centers and that Nigerians are increasingly relying on these centers during periods of emergency to make their calls so that these centers can provide the kind of relief services that they are established to provide for Nigerians. The foresight, dedication and passionate commitment to public good of the Professor Umar Garba Mbata led management has quantum leaped the ECC project from an idea to a reality delivered with visible, positive and immeasurable functionality that would serve the country forever. There are always challenges, you know, but um, when you are mandated by government to undertake an important 
project of this nature, whatever are the challenges are surmountable, you've got to find a way to surmount the challenges. Because this is a directive from the federal government. And successive governments have further uh, accentuated the directive that these centers must exist, they must be operational, and they must bring soccer to Nigerians in need of emergency health. Since its setup, these centers spread across the country's geopolitical zones have proved worthwhile, delivering remarkable results in key performance indicators. This is especially so in critical circumstances of public safety, security, and national emergencies and distress situations. For instance, the deployment of the ECC facilities is adding value to the country's security architecture by providing useful information on emergency situations to emergency response and law enforcement agencies. The centers, which have proven to be life-saving facilities that also support the security architecture in the country, shows the strategic importance of the NCC to national development, a clear expression of the vital role the agency is playing to the broader goal of responding to national needs with speed and precision. And these indeed are significant in prompting necessary actions from relevant agencies to save lives and property. The groundswell of goodwill and commendations of the Executive Vice Chairman of NCC, Professor Umar Dambata, and his team are well-deserved recognitions towards the feats achieved in the sector. Uh, the good thing about projects in the NCC, when we, they evolve, okay, we, we set money aside for deployment of, uh, you know, resources in order to actualize, you know, our projects. There's an important element to all our projects, a sustainability element, okay? So every time uh, during a budget cycle, we set aside some money, you know, intended to ensure that the centers are maintained. You know, those people managing the centers are promptly paid. They in turn ensure they're promptly paid, pay the allowances of the call, you know, uh, agents. Okay, because th this is an emergency service. So it is the kind of service that you know, we must be on top of if we are to justify the huge investments made by the federal government in order to provide the service to Nigerians. Okay, so we, we don't joke with the emergency communication centers. You know, every year, you know, adequate provision in the budget is created and all obligations, you know, to people helping us to run the centers are met as when due. So I'm very, very happy with the way the centers are being run. And from time to time, we take cognizance of the inflation, you know, in the country. And we sit down with the, you know, with the, with the agents, uh, man in the centers, to ensure that what we pay, you know, take cognizance, you know, of current, you know, realities. You know, to us, that is a very, very pragmatic way of running the centers. To be pragmatic is to be sensible and realistic because we're also responsible, you know, to government and we must justify the huge investments, you know, that, you know, that, that, you know, that is being made in running the centers for and in the well-being of Nigerians. For me, when it comes to security, like many successful, you know, governments will say no amount of money is too big to guarantee the safety, security, and welfare of the citizens of this country. Aptly put, the accolades and awards the Commission has earned underscore the centrality of the Commission's performance and achievements to the socio-economic development of Nigeria. Due to Mbata's exemplary leadership and pragmatic role in the management of the affairs of the Commission, the NCC was honored with outstanding global endorsements bagging two prestigious awards, one at the continental and the other at the international level. 
The commission was honored by the African Public Relations Association, APRA, with a certificate of excellence for its efforts in leveraging the emergency communication centers for national security. The commission would later bag the International Public Relations Association, IPRA, Golden World Awards for its outstanding feat in harmonizing the emergency number 112 and the construction of emergency communication centers, ECCs, in 36 states of the Federation.